Hi guys, my name is Jean-Sebastien Charles and today I'm gonna show you how you can add new armors to your Atavis project for Unity. Uh, the armor I'm gonna use today, I got it uh, from NeoJack website. You can always find it on the Unity Asset Store, it's called the UMA Fantasy Armor Set and the link will be provided uh, in the comments below. So, I already imported that armor into my project file. If I go into NeoJack here and you have my equipment, your armor and armor, you can see you have all your slots and for the male human and the female human characters. So what you want to do is open in your scene and you want to open the UMA character here and open the tree here and here you have the overlay library and the slot library. What you want to do is go into each of the folders here that's for the slot and you need to drag those in for each folder both for the male, I'm doing the male right now and you'll have to do the female afterward so I'll cut the video here you get the ID and I'll come back afterward. Okay guys I'm back so I just finished dropping all my slots here uh, make sure they're all in here and make sure there's no duplicate uh, if there's duplicate it won't work correctly next what you want to do is do the same but with the overlay so what you want to do is go into heavy armor overlay and drag each of them directly here drag overlay here so I have those here um, I already did it off camera so once again the overlay here and as you can see they're all down there and there's an extra here cloth overlay that you might want to put in and I'll show you how they work afterward. So next thing you want to do afterward is create a equipment display so go down in your resource folder and you'll have equipment display uh, you can take any one you want uh, just you need to duplicate it so I'll do control D and I'll call this heavy armor helmet now if you go here you'll have this is a head uh, I noticed that I didn't have the belt uh, what you can always do double click on the equipment display I shown that on other tutorials but just for you guys to know and you could add another section here that's what I did so coma then underneath I've put belt in. So what you want to do is take out this and then what we'll do we'll say melt slot element and since the head we're gonna go down to the helmet mail. So double click we'll do the same thing for the slot a female slot element here and we'll sh the helmet slot female and then for the overlay so you just need to find the overlay that goes directly with that so that's the helmet here and they're both the same for male and female so just use the heavy helmet like this um, the rest you need to do each part so you'll have to do the boots, the chest, and everything. Uh, what I want to show you is since they have added um, a cloth overlaying for channel, I'm going to show you how you can use the normal legs and just add some channel. So I'm going to use the example once again. And I'm going to say it's chain mail legs. Uh, take that out and it's the legs uh, the model uh, sorry the male slot so we'll get the um, for the male slot what we're gonna use is we'll use the normal human legs let me find it in this list okay so here it is I'll do the same for the female Yuma female leg slot and as for the overlays 
we're gonna use our clot that we just had for the chain mail. Um, oh, here they are. So chain mail pants, and I'll use those both for both male and female. And I'll do all the rest for the equipment display off camera, and I'll be back in a couple of minutes for the rest. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just finished created uh, every item I needed here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the two chain mail over here. Uh, what I want to show you also at the same time, you have a base mesh here, show base mesh. Uh, some armor will not look good if you only have the pants on as the mesh underneath uh, the character armors will disappear. Uh, so sometimes you'll need to enable this to l leave the mesh enabled. Uh, I'll show you an example at the end of the video of what I'm talking about. So what you want to do afterward is go into your plugin here, go into items, and we'll create each item one after the other. So we'll put heavy plate helmet, and it's an armor. Uh, it's a plate armor. It goes on the slot hat, that's okay. Let's put it on common, uh, give it like a nice price, a hundred of your gold. Click for an icon, so I'm gonna find the armor icon I have somewhere. Oh, here's the icon. Uh, and then what you want to do is find the right component. So heavy armor here, a boot, chest, helmet, and you'll need to drag this in. And you'll need to do that for each item you have it added. So, so before I cut the video, just remember you need to hit save data here. Okay guys, my storage has just restarted. Um, like always, since we want to give us our T items, uh, we need to know the ID, so um, it goes from 23 to 31. So what I'm going to do is log into my world. And just for the fun of it, I'll create a new character. Let's call him Toto. And we'll log into the world. And I'm gonna s do my slash give item. So we said 23. So I did get uh, the belt. So as you can see, my character now has a belt. And you can add all the equipment like this. I'll make a small cut in the video and I'll add all the items so I can show you what it looks like. Okay guys, I'm back just showing you what I was talking about. Uh, you know the checkbox I was talking about, if you see my character now, he looks really really weird. As I've ticked off like show mesh underneath. Um, so like I told you, you need to put in the checkbox, I'll show you. And also I'll show you the chainmail here, pants, they do give me an extra 50 health, so if I switch between the two of those, you can see like my health goes back down. So, like I told you guys, uh, what you want to do is go here and show base mesh, and you want to take all of those so your character doesn't look too weird. Now if I hit play, as you can see it's much better now, it has like everything that should be there. So I hope it helps, uh, leave the comments in the section below if you need any more information. Once again my name is Jean-Sébastien Charles, bye bye!